Hey Nathan, who would have thunk that we would be driving forbidden fruit? I am in the Nissan Patrol four-wheel drive SUV, and what are you driving? Well, technically speaking, if we're speaking from Australia, I'm driving a Land Cruiser Prado uh, with the V6, and I got me a Foster's in the back. That is very good. I don't think I can do an Australian accent, but I am joking a bit, of course. Uh, I am in a brand new 2022 Nissan Armada that's based on the Patrol. Yeah, and I'm in the 2022 Toyota 4Runner with this awesome green, but unfortunately, it, it shares parts with the Prado, but it's not exactly what I would call the same vehicle. They share some components. Well, this off-road video is all about, let's call it off-road legends, shall we? And let's climb the hardest part of Tombstone Hill and actually maybe go find the Tombstone itself. Well, currently you are driving the most off-road capable Nissan SUV, right? And I am driving the most capable Toyota SUV, at least available here in the United States. Well, let's tackle the mountain and see what's what. Whenever we go off-road, I never leave home without Onyx off-road maps. I'm just hooked on it. And why? Well, because right now Nathan and I are looking for that tombstone uh, location. And we're not on a designated trail. As you can see, um, it's not really marked. But you can see the property line. And actually, if you see in real life, uh, there's a fence right next to me. So I know exactly where I am and where I need to go. And probably in this area up here is where the tombstone is. So I need to go and check it out. This brand new Armada, of course, is frame-based truck, independent suspension. In this case, this is a midnight package truck, which comes with these 20-inch wheels, blacked out badging, and this Bridgestone Dueler HT tire, which is not super, super off-road worthy. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how much grip it has. So, <laughs> what are you laughing about? I'm not laughing at anything. <laughs> Wait, you know, could, don't I have like some sort of crawl control systems? No, you don't, and I do. Yeah, there you go, you have, okay. you'll have to gun it. Yeah, so I have to overcome and let the system know that uh, I'm searching for traction. Right, right. so it, it already struggled. Now it's not the system, it's the tires. These yeah. tires are street tires. Well, they're street-ish. They're street tires, Andre. <laughs> You're trying to be nice, I'm not. They are definitely not what I would call mud terrain tires. And so everything that they're gonna be doing in the next couple minutes, yes. it's gonna be a struggle. So watch this. So I am articulating. Um, I do have independent suspension. God, this thing is smooth though. It's smooth and quiet and large. And I have my camera system, dude. You know what I don't have a lot of? Hmm. Ground clearance. Yeah, especially with those side steps. I'd pull those things off if I owned this. Yes. But then I'd also replace the tires and wheels. Ooh, ooh, mm -hmm. ooh. Yep. Okay. But it's compensating for the lack of traction really well. Yeah, so it's the computer thinks a little bit. Yeah. I also have um, sort of air helpers in the back. Uh-huh. And, uh, well, that's for load leveling mostly. Right. But it's really a comfy ride. I don't know if you can tell, like, from this. Oh, it's surprisingly good. Yeah. So there's not a lot of head toss as no. we're moving around. When we were going on the regular dirt roads leading up here, uh, as I was bouncing around, you were just, you guys are casually, like, just <laughs> leaning back and forth just a little bit here and there. This is an extremely comfortable off-road ride. First, I got to say, the new Armada interior is just very luxurious and very nice. Nice materials, leathers very nice touches and this is my main control module here um, i have of course tow hole mode which we're not using right now snow mode traction control but very simply i can rotate this from four auto which is what this vehicle is usually in to four high to lock that in and then if i'm in neutral which i am i lower it and push it in four low it's very very easy my cameras turn on automatically and my traction control system is slightly disabled. And then I can also cycle through my camera systems if I need different views. 
I can choose those. So there you have it. That's all I really need. This thing weighs a lot. Yes, it's a full-size SUV, so these two don't compete. Not at all. The only reason we're taking them both up here is we just came up with the ingenious idea of, hmm, they're kind of based on these overseas models that we don't get, that we really wish we could. Yeah. It sucks because everything in Australia is better, except, except what? they drive on the wrong side of the road. Ooh, send your comments courtesy of Nathan Adlin. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, everything else they do better. Everything else. Dude, Have you seen their Olympic team? Their youths are amazing. Yes. Olympic team? It, both <laughs> winter and, I mean, for a little country, they absolutely kiss, kick ass. By the way, little country meaning in terms of population, they <laughs> kick ass. I mean, they really do. So everything they do, everything they get is cooler. Now, I know, I know, I know. Somebody's going to go, well, wait a minute. It's really expensive to live in Australia and cars are really expensive. Yeah, yeah okay, get over it. So I was able to modulate my... Uh, break. Yeah, I noticed that, and you didn't use Hill Descent or anything else that you got here. No, uh, but why use it? Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, of course, you know, the people will yell at me. Like, well, you didn't use it! Yeah, well, you know, I mean, it's... Honestly, I prefer using my brake pedal as well, and I probably will do that on the 4Runner, even though the 4Runner has way more gizmos to go off-road with. Yes. <laughs> this thing so, that does this for its size and weight, it's remarkably good. Yeah, so maybe, I mean, this is not a rock crawler per se, but this will take you off the beaten path. It'll take you, deep, you know, deep into the mountains on a forest road. I bet you yes. that if you eliminated a couple of the things that hang down, just like they do with Lexus, yes. they do with this, a bunch of different Lexus, right? The Alex and GX. Yes. If you did that with this, and you put on proper wheels and tires and got rid of some of the crap underneath, maybe put on skid plate, not even with lockers, just like that, this thing would be remarkably good and would take on those Lexus that I just mentioned easily. Nissan, how about a Pro 4X Armada? Oh my God, how awesome would that be? Because Nissan? I know yes. that overseas, you can get a locking rear diff. There you have it. So, I did the hardest part. So let's see how the uh, your Prado does. <laughs> Piece of cake. Depending on your pronunciation, it's either Nitto or Nito or Nido, or who knows, but I call them Nitto. And these are Terra Grapplers. Now, these tires are fantastic off-road and not too bad on-road. More than enough traction for these types of obstacles, but on top of that, we are talking about a TRD Pro. As such, we're talking about everything from skid plate, suspension upgrades, the vehicle itself is higher and beefier and just really, really stupid capable off-road. Honestly, this isn't much of a challenge, but I will say this, for today, it's a lot of fun to drive. You know, I think they can see us from Australia because this Lime Rush color, <laughs> you could see from the Spanish. name, Lime <laughs> Rush. <laughs> oh my God, perfect. I, I'm a, I love green, okay, so, Unlike a lot of people who are like, oh my God, it's horrible. I love it. I absolutely adore this color. And really 99.9% .9 of this vehicle is amazing. I love feeling like I'm in a vault and strong. Yes. It's got a great off-road system. There's only one little issue. What? You can see it from here. What? Look at the hood. What do you see in the hood? I see a bulge. <laughs> yeah. Well, see it's bulge. a hood scoop. Yes, it's a hood scoop. Okay. It's not functional. But, it, but, but yeah, it's not, it doesn't need to be there. I, but, it, it doesn't need to right, be there. All right, so are so you putting annoying. it in the right modes? Yeah, I'm going to put it in low. There's absolutely no reason I need low, by the way. This thing will do it with no problem in high, but got it in low and, oh, what's that? <laughs> I'm going to lock the a rear. A rear locker? Yep, I'm going to lock the rear Selectable. locker. Selectable. Yeah, sometimes it's a little funny and it okay. doesn't like to lock in there, but I think it's okay today. And I'm not going to use the A track system. I'm not going to use any the hill descent. I don't need any of that stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got more. <laughs> it's more than enough. Shall we? Yes. So dude, the the beautiful part between uh, with both of these SUVs, dude, you just went over the first obstacle. Oh yeah, and I didn't lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the beautiful thing be, uh, with both of these SUVs is they're you know proper frame based, mm -hmm. truck based SUVs. Mucho macho, mucho macho. And you know on top of that, one of the things that people and I've passed like a dozen of these driving up here, right? You yeah. saw some of those. Yes, they're very popular. They're very popular. First, second, second, and third generation. Just saw them everywhere. Good. Take the hard to life. Oh yeah, here. hell yeah. You know, just go over. Well. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do. Yes, but. you are. That's all right. It's like we're married. And <laughs> we have driven across the country together. Yes. But you know what's one thing that really gets me with this vehicle? What? Is the fact that every single time I get one of these, even even not, you know, the, the Pro 4X, 
Pro 4X. I said Pro 4X. Sorry. Even <laughs> even the um, the Pro version of this vehicle. Yes. It never lets me down, no matter what I do. The only issue I've ever had is the lack of efficiency. And it's not that horrible. Uh, no, but both of these, the Armada and the 400, in fact, they're kind of old school designs. Yes, you know, which is so good. And it's yes. not going to last forever. Yes. This is going away. A lot of people don't realize well, that. Well, not quite soon. It's I mean, going to go away in the next year. Or yeah, so. I'd, say, I'd say the next two years because everything's backed up. But within the next two years, they're, they're going to change the platform. They're going to change, definitely get rid of the engine and transmission. These things have been around forever. I mean, they're older than Tommy. And what you're seeing here is kind of the last gasp of what is an absolutely incredible vehicle. And they sell the hell out of these things. Still. And dude, uh, these TRD Pros, the most recent ones, because there were some shortages, right? Yep. They're commanding markups <laughs> on, on lots. Well. And this is an older design, like we said. But the, the markups are, are just stupid high. Like 30 grand. I've heard stories standards. of yes. thirty thousand dollars. You guys are criminals that are doing this, and it's going to come back and bite you in the tushy in the very near future. Old school, baby. So it's in two high. Now we're in four high. Now put this in neutral, and now I'm going to go into four low. That's right. That's all it takes. And once you get used to it, it's not too bad. Oh, and then, of course, you have to put it back in gear, which I've actually forgotten more than once. Cameras, yep, I've got them. I mean, they do look like they're out of the 80s with some of the graphics, I mean, the 1980s. But it still does do some interesting positioning, and you can change some of these and mess around with the angles and whatnot. I didn't even bother using this stuff, but basically you can terrain select here, and it'll allow you to, there we go, now it's on. And it's multi-terrain select. And you can choose mogul, loose rock, mud, sand, and dirt, rock. I mean, that's just the beginning. This allows you to control your speed as you're going off-road. And this system basically is like cruise control off-road. You set the system low, medium, high, and everything in between, and it'll take you up and over obstacles. All of this really is for people who are uh, a little concerned by simply using locker and four low. And you also have the A-Track system, so <laughs> you've got an awful lot of stuff you can mess with. Fantastic vehicle. I totally understand why people buy them. And honestly, I'll be completely honest with you, I should have bought one of these instead of my Mitsubishi Montero. This is a much stronger, better off-road vehicle. However, yes, we all make mistakes. What, what are you talking about? This is, one of these would have been just really cool, but everybody's got it. You know what I mean? So you want something unique. Yeah. That's why you get an Armada. Because yeah, you know, I know. They're not selling quite as many as No, they're, they're really, really good. And honestly, that Armada yes. is so much a better deal than the Infiniti QX80. It is, and it has a lot of the same luxury features. Ex that's exactly my point. So, dude, this 400 doesn't even care. <laughs> it doesn't. It went up this, it didn't lose. It didn't lose uh, one bit of traction. One bit of traction. It didn't lose uh, bowel control. Anything. It just doesn't care. And did you say bowel control? I meant to. But the point is, is that this vehicle off road in this format yeah. is one of the best in its class. It still is one of the best in its class. Yes, you can get Jeeps and whatnot that compete with and this. Broncos now and Broncos, but this still holds its own. More than holds its own. I, unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Just a. But really good vehicle. But tell me about your five-speed automatic again. Please, yeah. please tell me. <laughs> or, or the four-liter V6. Which, but that's part of the charm, right? It's yes. old, reliable stuff. It's old, it's reliable. I got to tell you, though, on the highway, I really could have used another 50 horsepower. I could not even keep up with you. Well, that's why you need the V8, like the Armada. And just to prove the point that these two do not compete, under the hood of this patrol, I mean Armada, is a 5.6-liter endurance V8 with premium fuel, 400 horsepower, 413 pound-feet of torque, older school seven-speed automatic transmission. And that's just goodness because it means it's reliable and it's very capable. And with everything you see here, $64,630 is the MSRP. 
270 horsepower and 278 pound-feet of torque. Not bad numbers coming from this ancient 4-liter V6. It's hooked up to a 5-speed automatic transmission and, of course, proper truck, 4-wheel drive, rear locker, all that good stuff. It's a little expensive. Uh, this one is about $10,000 less than the Nissan. This one comes in at about $54,000. Actually, $54,435. That's the MSRP. That is very pricey, I admit that, but both vehicles can be had for a lot less. Still, I love this color. I just absolutely, sorry, I fell in love. All right, dude, so this time, how about we take the truth side, not there. It's a little bit easier, still very, very steep. Um, and then keep, keep climbing and climbing and let's see if we can find the end of this trail. Easy peasy, I'll watch you from behind. Curious to see if he'll break traction. Well, I'm trying to go as slowly as possible to just make it difficult. And I think you just lost a little tiny bit of traction right there. In my case, absolutely not. I mean, <laughs> this thing is <laughs> this this is this is kind of a joke. Now, crossovers would be really challenged on this part, and you know, we're not crossovers. No, we're proper SUVs. We're like waltzing Matilda off-road. Ah, Australian reference, aside from the hat. I really do like it, Australia. I have a friend who lives there, that's why I got this. Nathan, I've got my Onyx maps off-road, but I don't see a tomb. I have my Onyx shirt, and I don't understand why there's not a tomb when they're our sponsor. Well, so, well, the tomb is not marked. Okay, well, let's just... Let's, let's go to the, the, you want to go to the symbol? No. Good. L let's close the video here. It's been, <laughs> it's been a blast, actually. It's actually been pretty fun. Uh, the Armada, actually, I'm impressed. You know, I thought it was going to be kind of too big, maybe not enough clearance, but it went everywhere up here. Actually, if you swap the tires, that thing would be damn near perfect in terms of what you're doing here, at least. Plus power! The power is incredible. Yes. But the Toyota, Yeah. I had the sunroof open, I had the rear glass down and all the windows open. So I got all the air coming in and everything else as I go over every obstacle without a problem and I feel kind of badass in it. And actually I do know for a fact that Toyota 4Runner owners are psycho and they'll love me for driving this thing. Lime Rush, right? It really is okay. Lime Rush. It's so cool looking. Nathan, the Onyx off-road maps prevailed. Indeed they did. Now we're at a creepy tomb of two people. It's not really a tomb. I mean, this is unfortunately where two people or three people Maybe even more passed away. Uh, and we're really sorry about that. We're not going to trample on their graves. Burial grounds. Yeah, right. we're, this is as close as we get with these vehicles. But maybe it's symbolic because these vehicles are sort of dying off. No, as no, well. no. They're, they're selling as many vehicles as possible. It's really incredible. But uh, I hope you enjoyed our adventure coming out here. I do too. And it's snowing while the sun is out because Colorado. I don't even know how, what to say <laughs> about is, this. That's crazy. Um, as always, tflaffroad.com and this channel for a lot more off-road reviews. Thanks, guys. Thanks.